everyone, it's Sharonda from Pay Your Weights, and today I'm going to be reviewing Made, which is currently streaming on the Netflix platform. This series is actually inspired by the New York Times bestselling memoir, Made, um, Hard Work, Low Pain, and Mother's Will to Survive by Stephanie Land. But this time around, the series stars Andy McDowell, Margaret Qualey, Anika Noni Rose, Nick Robinson, as we center around Margaret's character, Alex, who is fleeing an abusive relationship. She's a young mother who finds a job cleaning houses as she fights to provide for her child and also to in hopes to secure for them a better future. So for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome, hello, so glad you came, I hope you stay. I'll tell you what I liked about the series, what I didn't like about the series, and is it worth your time or not binging these 10 hour long episodes of Made on Netflix? So going into what I enjoyed about the series, and I didn't expect it to hit me this hard. I was like, y'all, I'm just letting you know now, this is, whoo. Get your tissues ready. Okay, this is very emotional. It's an emotional journey that you go on with Alex. But one of the things that I really appreciate is just showcasing what, you know, not only young mothers, but, you know, what mothers who are trying to flee from abusive relationships. But most importantly, educating this audience on that there's different types of abuse. When we typically say abusive relationships, we think, you know, physical abuse, but there's mental abuse, emotional abuse, you know, verbal abuse. And most importantly, really seeing the dynamic of, you know, how your upbringing plays into that. Um, there is a, a really a fractured relationship between um, Alex and her mother, Paula, played by her real life mother, uh, Andy McDowell who is absolutely fantastic as Paula who is a very quirky free-spirited you know but sometimes just not really their mother and as we really get to explore the nature of their relationship um, and the really the lack of support and sometimes the reversal of roles as sometimes we see Alex has to become like that primary caregiver to her mother. She almost has to raise her mother like she is a child herself. And I really love exploring that. But most importantly, exploring these cycles, right? How sometimes if we don't nip the generational cycles of trauma, um, you know, in the bud, they can tend to repeat themselves. Um, and really seeing, you know, two different women in two different po um, points of their life really trying to heal from what has previously happened to them and really the impacts of that, of how that can spread onto your children. I like how that kind of delves out as we kind of see the interactions between Alex and her mother and also to Alex and her father as well. Now also too, I do want to say with Nick Robinson's character who actually plays, you know, her baby daddy, she's her, you know, he, her baby daddy in the film. Um, also too, with his character, I like that they delve a little bit deeper into how hurt people hurt people. Um, and really when you don't deal with your own issues, you really seek destructive behavior um, and destructive addictions and really how that can really affect you from being able to progress in your life as well but y'all if I have any Degrassi fans out there let me tell you Degrassi fans when I saw um uh, Raymond of uh, uh Raymond a a bet uh Raymond a black child why can't I talk today when I saw Raymond a black pop up on the screen in this series I said oh oh my little Degrassi heart was just so pleased watching him in the series. Um, but there is a fun interaction between um, his character. Not really fun because you're going to be upset because I felt like he was disrespected, his character. Um, but I do like that they're a little bit more realistic. You know, t typically when you have series like this that's focusing on such a serious topic, you know, it tends to paint, you know, one person in this great light and like all these terrible things are happening to them, but it's how they persevere. But I actually like that Alex is a very much flawed character. There are gonna be a lot of times that you do not like Alex. And I think that that's totally fine. I think it shows how sometimes, you know, when you're in these situations, when you have your loved ones failing, you have your friends failing, you have the system failing you at the same time, that sometimes you have to become a little bit selfish. And I like that they didn't just make her this holier than thou, just perfect character. And we get to see that, you know, and how she interacts with Raymond's character as well as how sometimes, you know, when you haven't done the healing that you need or when you're just desperate to survive, to protect your child, to provide for your family when no one else is doing that for you, how you can actually become a little bit selfish. Um, but there is another character, Regina, played by Anika Noni Rose, who I actually really, really like. She's not a likable character either. She gets her act together, you know, as we go on, because everybody's on a path for growth throughout the course of this series. Um, but I actually really liked her character because it showcases how, like, women 
who her character is like though that woman that's put together that's successful has this nice house has this great family and really how even behind that facade you know you're breaking you know your foundation is breaking right and I really love that we get to see women who are supposed to be strong but as they struggle as they enter new chapters in their life and I really like what they do with Regina care Regina's character the interactions between her and Alex I thought that that was very well done as well but most importantly when we get into Alex's journey right I think they do a really I think they do a decent job and I'll get into this in some of the issues but showing how you know how the system can fail you how it may take multiple times for you to get out of your situation, that there's resources in place, but they don't make it as easy for you to be able to get the help that you need. I do like that they made this journey hard because this journey is hard for so many people um, trying to get out of abusive relationships who are trying to find a way to provide for their family, you know, when they haven't had the experience or the luck at obtaining a job. I do like this emotional journey that they take her character on, but they just show it at so many different levels, you know, all of the obstacles that you really have to overcome just to be a provider, to be a protector to your child. Her child is so adorable. I thought baby so adorable in this film, but in this series. But one of the issues that I do have with Maid is I feel as though that they weren't as realistic as they needed to be. And for anyone who's dealt with getting some type of government assistance, you know, even with me, I look, I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I've been on food stamps before, okay? I've been unemployed and been on food stamps, you know, unemployment. And I felt like sometimes some things were a little bit too easy for Alex in this series, especially when she's in some of these um, aid offices trying to get help. I just felt like people was just volunteering all of this information. I was like, sis, what was this when I was trying to get food stamps? Because to be honest, for any of you who have tried to apply for some type of assistance, baby, they are not the most helpful people in the world. Like, honestly, a lot of the the pro the basically a lot of the aid that I had found in my situation, it came from me talking to other people, you know, who work with these agencies who are able to give you that information. So I just felt like that was just like a teensy, a teensy tiny bit unrealistic. But outside of that, I really had a great time watching Made. I think that the acting is top notch. I think there's great performances all around. Um, I think they do a really great job of fleshing out the characters. Like typically a series like this will only focus on Alex wouldn't give you any backstory on Nick on you know her on her abusive boyfriend on you know a character like Regina or Paula and they do a really great job of delving into everyone's background so you can kind of understand why they are the way that they are why their relationships are sort of fractured with all of the different characters in the series and I thought that they did I thought they did a really great job of that and also too shout out to them for having their production crew like behind the camera mainly women I was like yes that's what I like to hear but I think you guys will have a great time watching me I'm gonna let you know it's heavy topics it's a little heavy so just brace yourself it's 10 10 hour long episodes but those are my thoughts on made as always my name is Sharonda from Peril Waits and if you like what you saw today make sure you hit the like button hit subscribe share this video with your friends and make sure you hit that notification bell and I love you guys 3000 and until I see you again bye